Hi everybody, it's Tuesday, October 27th, and I was planning on taking you to an, another cool place, but um, I got there and there was a whole group of some uh, elderly people and they were going on a, I guess it's an uh, old people's uh, get-together walk or something. So that spoiled that trip, plus there's a um, bulldozer, you can probably hear in the background, he's doing some work on it. What it is is a trail and it goes around in a big loop and um, it's about two miles long and it's got uh, light posts all around it and uh, what it is is and they have these all over Norway every little every little town has their own and some towns have several and they're, um, what they are is um, they're, they're graded and they're um, they have a good base to them and the lights come on and you can ski on, you can walk on them, of course, all year round, but in the winter when the snow's deep, they have a... Um, I'm also here with uh, Ben and Albert here, by the way. They... Um, let's go throw up here a little bit. They, um, they make these ski tracks in the snow, uh, two sets of two next to each other, and you're, it's for cross-country skiing, which is a pastime here in Norway. So you can pretty much ski all winter long any time of the night because the lights come on automatically when the light when the sun goes down and they stay on all night so we we'll do that another day but as you see here this is uh, just a little side trail that goes up in the woods here there's a wild big pine tree here and the hunting season's uh, for moose, anyways, is over. Luckily, um, one of the things which I don't like is here in Norway they they go by an old tradition of um, they hunt in uh, large groups of people, and they have people with rifles, and they they're on certain posts they call them, and then the rest are drivers, and they just go through an area and they make a lot of noise and they chase the moose towards them. And on one hand, it's very effective and the reason they get away with this is the government wants to keep the moose under control because there is unfortunately several traffic deaths where people are killed each year. The moose are just, uh, they have such long legs that when you hit them going 60 miles an hour, they they're so high up that they slide right across your um, the hood of your car and right into your windshield and I've seen cars that were completely leveled so they are dangerous but uh, still in all um, I don't like the way they do it but in any case uh, it's still a deer hunting season and and most if not all hunters go after them with dogs. They use dachshunds with short legs. You can have, you're allowed to use any dog that has short legs, like a dachshund or a, I believe a beagle also. And they uh, run around, they find the deer, and they bark at it, and then they chase it, and then the hunter can find it, and that's another thing I don't like, but when in Rome, do as the Romans, I guess. So, I swear you can Every man, woman, and child in Norway, and there's about four and a half million of them here, can each walk a different trail each day for the rest of their lives and never ever walk the same trail, which is pretty nice. These guys are pretty stubborn today. There's a lot of new smells on this trail they like. Okay, I'm going to stop this clip here and start a new one. 